Hello guys and welcome to the series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to talk about the HTTP only flag and why it is useful. So let's begin. HTTP only is an additional flag in a cookie which if present then the client side scripts like JavaScript will not be able to access those cookies. When I say the client side script it means the scripts that are executed on the client side or generally in the browser for example java scripts or java applet. In contrast to it if the scripts are being executed on the server side then those scripts are known as the server side scripts for example php or python. Now you can look into the screen the format of the http only flag where along with the cookie data the http only is also written when the response is being sent from the server to the client. Now let's take an example in our browser to understand it in better way. So here I have opened one of the website that is stackexchange.com and I'm going to inspect right and in the storage section in the cookies section of the storage you will see lot of cookies are there and in those cookies you will see in some of the cookies the http only flag is true basically when the response is given to the client then the http only flag was present or not present so for the true the http only flag was present right and for the false it's not present so to make it simpler i'm going to delete some of the cookies from my client right so if we see again now i have two cookies which are true and two cookies which are false now I will go to the console section. Console is a program in our browser using which we can interact with our web page and we can also execute the JavaScript expressions. So to start with, we can write here document.cookie, right? And you will see that only two cookies are being shown here. That is the opt en alert box closed. And the second one will be after the semicolon, which is here, that is opt an one consent, right? If you go to the storage section, then you will see only these two cookies has been marked as the false, right? One is the option alert box closed and the other one is the consent. Now, why we are not able to see these under underscore CF underscore BM cookie and prof cookie is because they have been marked with the HTTP only flag, right? So those cookies are not being shown when I'm printing the document.cookie, which is the JavaScript, which is being executed on the client side. So JavaScript will not be able to access the cookie, which has the HTTP only flag, right? To go even further, we can even create one sample cookie from our browser and I will give it the name as name and value as one, two, three, four, five, right? So this cookie has been created and in the storage section also you will see this is our cookie and the value is 12345 and also the HTTP only flag is false, right? So now if I do the document.cookie, you will see I will also be able to access the name equals to 12345 that is our user created cookie. Now one thing to remember that we cannot create the HTTP only cookie from our client side, right? For example, if I do here document.cookie and I will give it some value that is let's say uh, ID equals to QWER and also I'm going to give it HTTP only flag, right? So this is going to be rejected and also in the storage section, you will see this cookie will not be shown. So the client using the client side scripts cannot set the HTTP only cookies. Now the question arises why we even need the HTTP only flag. Basically it is used to protect us against the XSS attacks which can also be used to steal the cookie. Now take a note, XSS is an attack where a attacker injects some malicious code inside the website, which if user visits, then the code is executed on the client side. To understand it better, let's take an example where we are in the website sedo.co.ir. Basically, this website is used to practice your XSS skills, right? First of all, I can give here anything. So let's say I give here Vikram Singh, I click on subscribe, and nothing happened but if I give here a JavaScript expression that is script alert one and script then this JavaScript code will be executed and a pop-up of one will be shown so now what will happen anyone can copy this particular link right and can send it to you over email or any other way and if you click on that one then in your client or in your browser also this script will get executed and it will give you an alert of 
one. So basically the JavaScript is being executed on the client side. Now alert one does not damage anything, but the attacker can also give the payload something else, which can be used to send the cookies from your browser to a third party system or third party server, right? For example, here are certain examples for it. If you give this particular payload, then first it is going to alert document.cookie, then it will create a variable and after that it will send the cookie to this particular server, right? Because inside the script, we can execute any expression we want. So basically it will read your cookies and it will send to the other server, right? There are a lot of payloads available like this. So how does HTTP only flag protect us from this particular scenario? To understand it, let's take an example. Consider you sent a cookie, which is your session cookie, and it is not marked with the HTTP only flag. What will happen if an XSS exists? Then if you click on some link, what will happen? Your document.cookie expression will be able to read the content of your session cookie, and it will be able to send to some other server or to the attacker server. In contrast to it, when you are setting the cookie in the browser with the HTTP only flag and the JavaScript expression which will try to read the session cookie, it will not be able to read and it will not be able to send it to the attacker because it has been marked with the HTTP only flag. And the point of HTTP only flag is that the client side scripts will not be able to access the cookies. So in this case, the stealing of your important cookies will get failed. So that's all for today guys. I hope you like the video. If you have any doubt, please comment it down. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.